again with another mukbang and today we got some delicious 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 with it we got um pineapple pineapple boats you guys if you guys are not familiar it's just filled with rice and got some um veggie veggie meat we got some szechuan szechuan meat i'm um, from garden beyond szechuan it's right here look at it yes we got szechuan meat and then we got some fried plantains on top let me give a close up real quick let me give them a close up real quick babe sorry to interrupt you but yeah, let me get let me get them a close up you guys see that look at that look at look at look up in there man <laughs> All right, you guys, but before we get started, I wanted to make sure we give a big, big thank you to Eden Jacks and Madison Mukbang. For guys. real, for real. Oh, my God. We're so appreciative of you guys. You guys, A lot of you guys came from their channels, and we want to thank all our new subscribers who joined the family. Had us we, busting <laughs> up in the comments, yeah, man. You guys Y'all made our day with the comments. For real, for real. So we really appreciate that, and we thank you guys so, so much. And much more yummy videos to come. But yeah. We're, we're going to get them recipes up for y'all too, man. Definitely, you guys. Show this was like show. a quick, this was a quick, quick dinner that we just kind of put together. So, um, first, we're going to say our prayer. You want to say grace? Yes. Let's get it in there, babe. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, forgive us for our sins, Lord. Thank you for this food you blessed us with. Bless our hands and prepare the Lord. Uh, I want to pray for the families that all their houses over there got burnt up um, in Calabasas and all the shootings that took place over there in um, Borderline, I believe, something like that over there. But yeah, you guys, you guys, in, <laughs> in your name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I wanted to get so much out, but it was just like, my mind was racing. It was praying and talking to y'all. <laughs> No, but um, thanks for blessing the food, babe. I'm starving. But yeah, you guys, so Me today too. we're gonna, <laughs> today we're going to be... Oh, we need a thumbnail. Oh. Come on. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. So today, um, since we got a few new subscribers, a couple of you guys had asked about mm. our vegan... Um, when we went vegan and why we went vegan. So we're gonna eat a little bit and then we're gonna talk to you guys about our vegan journey. Mmm, your veggie rolls are bomb. What's wrong with mine? Why'd this thing rip off? Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was hard making the uh, cutting them. Oh, these with mm. the um, veggie rolls look like you guys. Oh yeah, we're gonna put a picture of the veggie rolls somewhere up here. This right? Fire. Mm. Stop playing. Mmm. 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 Okay, spring roll. Mmm. Mmm. Veggie rolls bomb. Oh my goodness. The veggie rolls are so good. Mmm. Mmm. It's right from the Caribbean spot down the street. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I had it before. It's rice and peas, y'all. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. This is so good. I'm trying to get some of that pineapple out the bottom. <laughs> Mix it with it, see what it really tastes like. Mm, this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, you guys have bay rolling today. For real. You guys comments. Made my day. Mmm. Mmm. These pineapples are juicy. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, you guys, we've been vegan for about like. It's going on five years, I believe. Like in, like in March. 
like five years. If you guys are familiar with the um, vegan street fair, that's when we first, well, that's when I first went um, vegan. Mm -hmm. It was in March. It was like one of the first vegan street fairs. Yeah. They've been vegan like, like three months before me, something like that. Yeah, that's all I was going to say. I started in January. Mm. He started in March. Mm. And our kids started a couple of months after. No, me and Derry, we're going to be going on uh, like four. Yeah. Because we... Um, I started like a, a couple we of months We were vegetarian. After. Yeah. We were... Yeah, they have their own little story, but... I uh, know. Hey, what y'all was doing? Y'all started watching those... Um, what's those videos? Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. Yeah. Pork versus that. knife. Work, but, yeah, I walked in one house. I walked in the house one time, and they was like, "Dad, look at this stuff." I'm not ever eating this again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was like, "Dang, they got scared straight." <laughs> right? Seriously. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm. I wish all you guys out there can taste this. That's so good. Mm. But this dish is supposed to cost something like a surfing turf or something, right? Or, Are you hungry? I'm sorry. Not surfing turf. You so. can do different things. I think, I think like non vegans put like shrimp and like real chicken. Mm. Um, yeah. Or I think they do put steak. Mm. Yeah, this is amazing. Mm -mm. Yeah, bomb. A little bowl, a little pineapple mm -mm. bowl. Cute. Mm -mm. <laughs> he will with his signature. It's ASMR. <laughs> it's ASMR, you guys. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is so good. Oh, my gosh. Mmm. 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 Isn't it better than today? Oh yeah. It is for us. What, it was yesterday? Yeah. Today. Today, right? It's yeah. the day, but... For you guys, it's like a whole different day. It's, it's the next day. Mmm, okay. But yeah, anyways, what you guys do for uh, Veterans Day? Should I go to the uh, memorial walls or anything? Wait, I'm still telling them about our vegan. Oh, my bad. <gasps> Alright, y'all. So, I ate a little bit. Let me... Okay, so like we said, they... I went <sighs> vegan in January. So, my church does this thing that's called... Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. So, my church does this thing called the Daniel Fast. And... I think... Um, it's pr it's basically it's vegan, but it's like no processed foods. No, I th I think you can have tofu. I'm not sure, but it was like no processed foods at all. Like all fresh, plant based foods. Excuse, ooh, excuse me, the bubbly y'all makes you burp. But yeah, so we we're having a Daniel fast, and it was for 21 days. So my mom and my dad and myself, we decided to do it. Um, I think my mom did it a couple of like because it happens they do it once a year. Um, so this year I partic this particular year in 2012 no, not 12 2014 I participated. So we did it for the 21 days. Um, my mom and dad helped us helped me a lot, uh, but for babe. Uh, March came around and I saw that it was a vegan street fair and I was like so excited telling him like babe look at this vegan street fair they're gonna have so much um, vegan food I wasn't interested not one bit like okay uh, yeah so I start then Still I start eating this chicken so then I start <laughs> so then I start showing him the pictures and different stuff I think this was the first year they had it right mm -hmm. the first year they started so I showed him the pictures and everything, and he was like, he was like, oh, okay, that looks pretty good. And plus, it was like right up the street from our house, so he couldn't really say no. You know, it wasn't far. So it was right up the street from our house, so we actually ended up going to the vegan street fair. And that day, babe became vegan. 
<laughs> so that day he decided he was like, yeah, I'm gonna just do it. So yeah, so he he never looked back either. Um, I went cold turkey. I was just trying it out, but then, yeah. but then I started like studying and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Seeing all this, you know. If you guys are familiar, with I felt that. like I've been lied to. Mm -hmm. That was the real problem. Yeah. All these vegan people telling me. The real and all that. I'm like, dang, so I've just been lying to my whole life? Mm -hmm. That's how I really felt. So I just, I just started doing more researches. And then I um I stumbled up on Dr. Sabi and how he was healing all these diseases that you can't, that supposedly can't get healed and all that stuff. So I was like, With the alkaline plant. I'm like, what? So yeah, from there, I just was full fledged, plant based, for real, oh. for real. Oh. Rest in peace, Dr. Sabi. <laughs> yeah, so oh, yeah. <clears throat> if you guys do some researches on stuff, you guys might feel like me. This you might feel like you've been lied to for a long time. Oh, you want more? I was just about to say pass that rice. Yeah, let me see the bowl so I can. Well, yeah, I want to do the longest stuff. Let so, me know down below. Oh. Like, why did you guys go vegan or thinking about going vegan or, you know? Thanks. So yeah, you guys, sorry, we're kind of all over the place because we didn't really plan this video as far as the topic wise, but we did want to give you guys an explanation and let you guys know why we became uh, plant-based eaters. So fast forward to the kids, um, my kids weren't vegan at all. Oh, hold on, babe, hold on, babe, before you fast forward, you guys, I was doing so good at first. I was eating some oh, good, yeah. healthy oh, yeah. meals, you know. I forgot, I almost missed this part. You want me to tell him? I was not, I got it, I got it. Let me handle it. I'm a big man. <laughs> yeah, so, I was doing good, good and stuff. My baby was making some healthy meals and stuff. Watching Fully Rocker Stina. Fully Rocker Stina and uh, Ravana. Ravana, yeah, her and too. And Freely the Banana Girl. If you guys are in the vegan community, you probably know them. Yeah, I was watching them, peop them people, you know what I mean? And it was even good. I started losing some weight. I was like, ooh, this is going good. And then, babe, like, I guess she said she started showing me all this junk food stuff because. So, you guys. She wanted to keep me on track. Huh? But once she didn't show me all that junk food, it was over with. Just because it's vegan, you guys, doesn't mean it's healthy. Yeah, that's true. Um, let mm. me just tell you guys a little bit about that. So. He was an extreme, like, you know when your man's a meat eater, like, there's no turning back, like, he's, he's not gonna change, he's Give gonna, me he, like, he's not gonna, you, you have this in your mind, he's not gonna change, he's, mm. so, like, so, I had a real, like, live meat eater on my hand who's never really ate, like, you know, a bunch of salad, didn't really eat healthy oh. often, yeah, so... I felt that I didn't want him to stray away from the vegan diet, which I kind of mm. messed up a little bit because I started showing him all the junk. Like, um, you know, that thinking it would hold him to the vegan diet. And my mistake was that him just showing him research and showing him how people are getting healed and how this is the natural way we should eat. That's how I should have went about it. Um, so if you guys are trying to get a loved one or your mate to go vegan, don't show them all the junk food. <laughs> That will come later. That's a treat. Um, well, you probably some. You probably gonna have no, to. No, you can. But I'm saying if not all. At, if you didn't show me stuff at a vegan street fair, what was gonna happen? Yeah, okay. but not all at once. We, you don't have to show your mate all at once. Here, get because I was showing him everything, babe. Here, Oreos are vegan. Oh, yeah. Ooh, here, get nutter butters or get, yeah, like things that are so unhealthy. I could have showed him little treats here or there if I felt like he was straying, you know, or made him something that that was um comparable to the to what we normally ate. I know my my went to the doc and stuff, blood pressure was going down. Uh -huh. That was like whatever you're doing, keep, keep doing, doing it. it. Yeah. So <clears throat> So that was my mistake and that's my advice to you guys. If you have a loved one that you're trying to go vegan, do not show them all the junk food at once. <sighs> you can definitely take them to the vegan uh, fairs and <clears throat> festivals, which is great. But um, I wouldn't recommend having that stuff in your household and having that as a primary part of your diet because it's not healthy. Um, but yeah, so that was what babe, just trying to hold him on to veganism. I kind of showed him 
the unhealthy side. So fast forward now to the kids. They were just regular. They ate whatever. They I made dinner. So they ate vegan at home. But they would still like eat chips with Vegetarian. their friends. Yeah. They, um, they would go to like our family house. Who was making maybe like. A non-vegan vegan cheese, dinner, like um, hot wings, meat. yeah, hot wings or whatever, and they eat it occasionally, but they didn't eat it in our house. So then I, I did ask them, do you guys want to try? Um, I mean, do you guys want to watch a a documentary? I never force my kids to do anything they don't want to do or make them be vegan because. Mm. I just said so. I always want to teach them why I think they should do this. So I asked them that they want to watch a documentary. My kids are very, very curious. So they were like, yeah, yeah, put it yeah, on. George. Yeah, they were like, put it on, put it on. They were excited about it. I said it's a little gruesome, some some parts. And they were like, we don't care, put it on. So I put it on <laughs> for them. <laughs> they were like, oh, they just kids their hearts melt oh, I was for, crying. for oh, animals yeah their hearts oh, melt for animals so they my daughter was crying my son was like oh that's it i'm not eating any more animals <laughs> so from there they they had little hiccups like eating chips every now and again but they didn't touch meat at all after that so i'll say maybe roughly about a month or so later they fully transitioned to veganism so, um, yeah, and here we are now. So, did you guys want to talk to any kids? Oh, yeah, we're trying to show everybody that as, in a vegan, as a vegan, you still eat all these delicious meals. Because yeah. when I be around my homies and stuff sometimes, they be saying stuff like, Hey, bro, I don't know what to get you. Could you eat rice? Mm -hmm. Could you eat fries? Like, yeah. They don't so, know. I was like, dang, people really don't know. So, I was like, man, we got to show people that... Veganism is not just about eating grass all day. Uh-uh. That's, that's, yeah. Sorry, y'all. That's one of the reasons why we made this channel. Even though we don't eat processed foods all day, we want to show that veganism has a variety of foods to eat, not just a, a whole salad all day. We're not just eating fruit all day. I mean, that's fine if you're... What is it, fruitarian or fruitarian? Fruitarian, sorry. That's fine if that's what you chose, but we wanted people to know that that's not the only option. Yeah. For real. So. We gotta start showing them what we be eating through the day in the morning, like the acai bowls. And yeah. All that goodness. We got that coming for y'all, too. Mm hmm. Oh, and. So that was how we went vegan. Oh. Not really how I didn't even tell you guys. So. Like Babe said, me and him, cold turkey. We, um... That wasn't cold turkey. Like, really stopped. A funny story is that when I actually did the Daniel Pass with my parents, I was actually looking forward to go back to animal products. I'm not even going to lie. Because I didn't educate myself. Oh, yeah. I didn't educate myself on uh, what was going on. So, I remember it was coming up, the 20th day or whatever. And then mm -hmm. my mom was like... After the 21 days was, was over, my mom was like, I think I want to keep doing this for a little bit longer. It, um, I feel good. I feel so good. I think my mom had lost some weight by then and everything. So she was like, I want to keep doing this for a little bit. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever. This is what I was thinking in my mind. Like, she'll go back to it soon. Like, whatever. Just that mentality. And so a month had passed. And I was like, wait. No, not a month. Like, two weeks had passed. And I was like... Okay, mom, you still... She was like, yeah, I feel great. I have so much energy. And my mom right now is 57. <laughs> At that time, she was 52, I think. Yeah. Yeah. 53. So, yeah, she was like, I feel great. So, I was like, wow, okay, I get... And I was feeling good, too, but I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking about, I can't wait to go back to my regular <laughs> um, routine. So my mom was, um, you know, just doing it and my dad. So I was like, wow. So I'm not going to go back if they're not going back. You know, I was thinking to myself, like, I don't want to look like. Embarrassed. Not embarrassed. Yeah, not embarrassed, but just I didn't want to look like I gave up. And then, So and then I started, we started finding, like, new things to eat, learning new recipes. And I started enjoying it. Like, oh, this is why wow, I do have energy. Working out, just great energy, feeling amazing. And then, they, and then, um, 
my grandma used to, she started it to um, go to the the park and start working out. Oh yeah, my, um, she has so much energy. She started working out. This lady was 53. She started working out like better than me almost. Going up steep hills. She was going to the doctor. They were telling her the same thing as him. Whatever you're doing, wow, keep it up. And she told them it was a vegan, um, the vegan diet. And they were like, well, I don't care what it is. Keep doing it. Your blood pressure is there. I think, um, did she get off her blood pressure medicine or did it? I think she got off of it. I have to double check. But she, her, um, everything was just dropping. Like, she lost, I think my mom lost about 40 pounds. So it was it was really amazing to look at, very inspiring. Then I started educating myself more and just really fell in love with um, what the vegan diet can do for you. All the, the benefits. All the benefits. Just just in general, it's just an overall amazing lifestyle. It's very positive, very great all the way around. It benefits you and and everybody else. So why not? It's and a helping win these win. animals out. Yeah, it's a win win. You slaughter any, you know. Exactly. We'll get so, everybody on board. They're gonna have to let the animals go. Right. Exactly. There ain't so, gonna be no more slaughtering them. Like, like who are we gonna sell it to? Exactly. <laughs> so, so yeah, veganism is really we we really enjoy it personally. We hate when people when we say we're vegan, they're like, oh, sorry or. Oh shoot! Yeah, really? we feeling bad. Like I'm like, I love it. If don't I, check out my IG. Stop. I'm like, it's not like we're. I mean, good. Yeah, I love it. Veganism is amazing. Oh, and one more other thing, guys. I know I'm talking a lot, but it's a lot to get out about this. So, I had a um, a condition called hydratinitis, which is basically like cysts. Um, and going vegan, that also cleared that up as well. Just so, you, just want to let you guys know if that can help anybody. So yeah, we truly, truly enjoy our, this lifestyle. It's not a force for us. We don't feel deprived. We don't feel anything. At the end of the day, we're adults. We can make whatever choice we want. We can not be vegan or be vegan. And this is what we chose to do. So when people feel bad for us, it's like... Weird. We're not hand uh, we're not handcuffed to this lifestyle. This is what we chose to do. Obviously, we love it. So don't ever make anyone don't ever let anyone make you feel bad for making a decision that works for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope I kind of answered for you guys um, why and how we went vegan. Me and Babe did a cold turkey, just straightforward. Never looked back. The kids kind of, you know, hesitated for the couple of months and then straight forward. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, you guys want to know anything about what I talked about, if I didn't answer anything, let us know down below. We'll definitely answer that for you. Yes, we will. I didn't talk guys. so much. I got full. <laughs> full Sorry, so. you guys. Well, yeah, you guys, that's basically yeah, how we went vegan and all that stuff. Yeah. How, how's you guys' journey going? Is it going good? Is you guys like, uh, did, you guys just start? did our videos help you out? Like, ooh, I can eat this. Hold on. I'm about to continue this veganism. Let yeah. us know what y'all think. Definitely. Do you guys want to say something about to the kids? About <laughs> you guys being vegan? Uh -huh. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, when people be telling me, they be like, um... I'd be like, I'm vegan, I can't eat that. Then they'd be like, oh, I'm, I feel so bad for you. That's nasty. I'd be like, what? what? Never even tried Off it. Off so. I'd be like this. I'd be like, I hate people that just um, judge when they haven't even tried it. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't mm -hmm. knock it till you try it. Exactly. Right. But yeah, you guys, on um, they school wall. Well, my daughter's school, they started getting um, vegan meals out. I know. We were so excited when she came back. She was so excited. She was like, Mom, Dad, they start serving vegan lunch, lunch or breakfast too? Lunch. Yeah, um, vegan lunches at our oh, school. Wait, can I say something? Mm hmm I don't think they know that vegans can eat rice because their burritos are just beans. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, what? Something like how I was in the beginning. Yeah. Was mm -hmm. it good? Is it still good, Lana? Uh huh. They be having vegan. falafels and stuff. <laughs> what you got written on your hand? Oh, crazy. That was just a heart. 
Who I'm full, you guys. I'm really full, but we hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned a little bit more about us. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you to all our new subscribers and to Eden <clears throat> and Madison. We love you guys. And yeah, we'll be back with another video, guys. Peace. Peace.